Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for November 17th. I'm Phil Newman. Today I'm solving non-consecutive zone Sudoku by Bill Murphy. We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3x3 three three box. Additionally, we have a global constraint. So cells that are orthogonally adjacent, which means in the same row, in the same column, touching each other. Not like this. Um, Digits in these cells cannot be consecutive. So we can't have 2, 3. They're consecutive. We could have 2, 4. And then we have some cages. These are not killer cages. Um, we can't make a sum of 356. Uh, these are zone cages. So they're just telling us what digits appear in the cage. So this cage contains 3, 5, 6 in some order. And those are the rules. Um, there are actually two versions of this. I'm doing the Canon version. Um, there is an alternate version that has a few more cages, I believe. Um, so I will include the links to both of them if you want to try the other one instead. But this is the one that I will do. So let's get started with these cages. Um, because of the consecutive rule, when we have a cage that has consecutive digits, like this 3, 5, 6, 5 and 6 are consecutive. They can't go in the middle, because if I put a 5 here, say, 6 has to go in one of these cells, but it would be consecutive with 5. So that doesn't work. So 3 has to go in the middle. Here, 2, 8, 9, 8, and 9 are consecutive, so 2 has to go in the middle. 6 to keep 3 and 4 apart, 7 to keep 1 and 2 apart. Um, and we can do the same thing in these bent cages um, because again this cell is next to both of these cells so eight and nine are consecutive so that's a one this is a seven this is an eight and this is a nine all right let's see what else we can do other than pencil marking a bunch of things we may just be pencil marking a bunch of things ah three here so that's going to resolve the four three um six Results that. These are one and two, three and four, eight and nine, five and six, uh, one and two here, and eight and nine here. There we go. All right. Uh, can we resolve any of these? I don't think we can yet. Uh, we might have consecutive. Nope, none of these. Okay. Uh, let's see, 1 and 2 are down here, so I'll just go ahead and mark these. Uh, these are 3, 4, and 8. There's a 3 here, so that's 3. So this is 4, 8, but because of the non-consecutive rule, this can't be 8, it must be 4. That 3 is going to resolve 4 and 3 here, uh, which means we're going to need a 6 here. It's not in this cage. Uh, these will be 5 and 1 to finish that box. Uh, 7 must go here. These are 5 and 9. And the 9 can't go next to the 8. Uh, and that's going to resolve 8, 9. And 2 can't go in these cells. It must go here. That's not in the cage. But 1, 2 there. 5 and 6 are done from that 6. And now we're just doing a non consecutive. We resolve all the cages. All right, let's look at these triples. Um, some of them are going to be more restrictive than others. So this is one, three, five. We can't do much with that right now. None of them are consecutive. Uh, two, six, eight, the eight can't go next to the nine. So I will mark that. Uh, four, seven, nine, the seven can't go here. Uh, one, three, five again. Um, so this is one or three. And then we have four, Six nine four can't go here. We have two seven eight. There we go. Two must go in the middle between the seven and eight. Um, and this is going to be pretty restricted. Whatever this is is going to determine this digit as well. All right, four six eight here. So this is four or six. One three seven. One and three can't go next to two. So this must be the seven. And then we have 2, 5, and 9. So 5, 9, like that. Uh, 1, 7, and 9. 7 and 9 can't go next to the 8. And then the 
pair. Uh, two, three, and five. Two and three are consecutive, so this has to be five. And then four, six, eight again. Four and six can't go next to the five. And four can go next to the three. So that is resolved. Four again can't go next to three. All right. Uh, two can't go here because of the one three. So that was a useful fence mark. Uh, two then is going to have to go in one of these. It's not particularly helpful yet. Uh, this is not five. So this must be five. Uh, this is four or nine. Could be any of these digits. Five in this box is on one of these. It can't go next to the four. I'm trying to solve this without pencil marking everything, which is probably I probably pencil marked a lot more when I tested this. Um, sometimes it helps spotting things. Sometimes it just gets too busy. <laughs> so. Uh, Oh, that can't be five, uh, four because of the five there. So that's going to resolve this, which resolves that. So that was missing. Six can't go next to seven. All right, these are going to be two, six, and eight. Or not two, six, and eight. Two, four, and eight. Four and two can't go there. These are, well, we need a three, and three can't go next to either of these cells. So three goes there. Uh, six and seven can't go next to each other. So since there's a six here, we can't have seven here. Um, so this is our seven. This will be a six nine pair, but we have an eight there, so that's resolved. Uh, one five seven, the five seven can't go next to six. Get that. This is resolved. This is resolved. Four or eight. Uh, four, seven, nine, that's four. This is not six now. Uh, this is six because of the nine, it can't go next to eight. One and three can't go next to the two, and we also get these down here. Ah. Um, three and six in this column, so this got to be the three. Uh, not three, one. And there's the three. All right, that's the solution. Um, I really like this puzzle. Um, the digit in the middle trick, obviously very useful here. Um, but the way the rest of the non-consecutive resolved, uh, there's a lot of little interesting things you can find. Um, like the, the thing with the seven here, uh, that's a really useful thing to look for in non-consecutive puzzles. Um, but yeah. Just in general, keeping an eye on uh, what's restricted by what's in the neighboring cells. So, uh, let us know how you did in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.